All right, folks, we made it. It's the weekend. Finally, a pretty nice one out there. Just very cold today. Hopefully, folks had your jackets, hats, and gloves because it was pretty cold out there. Right now, though, mostly cloudy skies. A couple of flurries in the western part of the state just to the west of Augusta, closer to Portland area. They had a couple of flurries there, but not much accumulations. But take a look at this. Wow, Boston finally got in on some snow. But hey, surprise, surprise. Look at this. A little bit of snowfall in New York City. Wow, their second snowfall of the season. Incredible stuff. They've been missing out all winter season long. They've only had 0.4 inches of snowfall, and that was around uh, four weeks ago. Now they had a dusting or two as well with all the snow moving in. So they are all excited seeing their second snowfall of the season. Wow. Here, though, different story. Of course, we're up north and it is much colder. We will have a little bit more snow moving in on Sunday. We're looking at in the afternoon hours, mostly in the evening hours, into the morning hours on Monday, quickly moving out. So by the, I'd say, by the morning drive on Monday, if you're going to work or school, things will definitely improve. We're going to start to finally clear up. Tomorrow, though, we're looking at possibly one to three inches of snowfall. There will be some spots with a little bit more, but overall a widespread one to three inches. So not a big event, but definitely something to shovel. Look at these temperatures, though. Finally have some warmer air. Atlanta, 62 degrees. Wow, Houston, they were in on the 80s today. Wow, but Dallas was only in the 40s. So look at that big difference. Northern part of Texas into the southern part of the state. Warmer air is going to continue to make its way up. Chicago is actually going to be in the mid to even upper 50s in the next couple of days as a system moves in. Northern Wisconsin, though, only in the 20s and 30s. Big, big difference with some freezing rain and route. For us, though, no freezing rain. A little bit of snow will be on the way in the next couple of days. Temperatures today, though, we're only at around 15 degrees here in town. Same story in Bar Harbor. Millinocket coming in at 12 degrees. Clayton Lake at 9 degrees. So it was a little bit colder up north, of course. But the last several weeks were very mild. Look at all these warm temperatures, even close to 50 degrees last week. So we've been well above our average for this time of year. Our average high should be around 34 degrees. Now we're actually going to transition into a cooler temperature trend. So look at this. Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, we're below average. Wednesday and Thursday, though, into Friday, we're pretty much near our average for this time of year. But still, it is going to be chilly the next couple of days. Tonight, though, wow, bundle up. It's going to get cold, folks. Decreasing clouds. That's going to let all that air cool down tonight with those calm winds. So there will be some spots with well below zero temperatures as well. Tomorrow, we're looking at some snow moving in, mainly in the afternoon. All that steady snow moving in. Temperatures in the mid-20s. Our extended forecast outlook does show some clearing by Monday. Tuesday, though, look at that. Another round of snow does move in. We're looking at possibly several inches of snow as well. Wednesday, we're in the clear. Then a little bit warmer by Thursday with temperatures in those mid to upper 30s. AJ?